There we go. How much is this? Nice, a stack. Perfect. I will take that. Uh, almost a stack. Let me go ahead and clear off this side really quick. gosh see one piece floating over there cool do you have super chat or membership or something because I have some money from Google opinion rewards I get it hold on let me let me go somewhere safe I say let me go somewhere safe and I go to the nether. Yeah, let me go back to my house and then I will uh, finish your chat. Actually, let me just pause it. Because uh, you have some money from Google Opinion Rewards, I get it for free. It can also sponsor in YouTube channels. If I'm oh, really? Nice. I usually use Google Opinion Rewards to buy games and play store, but I changed the iPhone, so now it's useless. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I should have super chat. I was actually messing with that earlier today when I got home. I upgraded uh, my Steam or Steam my uh, my stream a little bit, so I should get notifications when I get like uh, well super chat or membership. So memberships, I think for memberships, correct me if I'm mistaken, but. Uh, for memberships, I think you can only, uh, get memberships if you're eligible to get monetized. Oh, what the heck? Because I ha I don't have the option to set it up. But I do have a, if you really want to, Uh, I do have a donation link in my description. If if I'm picking up what you're putting down, uh, if you if you want to donate, uh, I do have a link in the description which I set up like a day or two ago. So hopefully it works. <laughs> hopefully when you donate, if you do. Uh, want to donate it will pop up in uh, on the screen so it should say your name donated uh, this amount and then whatever you want to put I think but unfortunately I don't have a membership yet uh, that still needs to get worked on But yeah, still getting a little bit familiar with everything on YouTube. So I apologize for the delay. It is a, it's a WIP, uh, W-I-P, work in progress. All right, let me go ahead, put this back. Um, put a couple other things back. Is there anything wooden in here? No, actually, I will go ahead and take that. Okay. Um, bucket, I will put the bucket back, or put the bucket back. I will put it over here. I will, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let me see. That's cool. I sure will check it out. Hey, I appreciate that. Uh, let me go ahead and put these things away. I do have more cobblestone, which is cool. Let me go ahead and finish the water elevator really quick. Let me put that away. 
go down to the mine. But yeah, only donate if you can afford it. Um, I don't want, you know, and only donate. Uh, yeah, only donate if you feel like it, if you, uh, you know, do it out of the kindness of your heart. Uh, any donation is, you know, you guys are basically my audience. You guys are my audience, not basically, but you guys are my audience. So any type of support, man, I think I, I can't stop myself from mining diamonds. <laughs> oh, let's check this out. I got to check this out. Nice. And holy cow, this is a long ride. Cool. Let me go ahead and put the kelp away. Heard from other YouTubers that YouTube system sucks and a lot of requirements restrictions. Oh, look at, look at, look at. Ah, I distracted them. They must have heard me. Really, I uh, I know they've been ch making some changes here and there the past month or two, but uh, I mean I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm still in the learning process of getting to know YouTube and all, especially now that I'm trying to go full time. Maybe it should be wise of me to just keep updated with youtube and all i'm i mean for donate system oh yeah it is a lot different than twitch i think with twitch you could people can donate like right away but uh with youtube it's totally different so i'm using i'm using stream labs to assist with that Oh yeah, let me, I want to check out the, what is it called? The, the coordinates that I wrote down. I want to see if they line up. Also, I want to take maybe four stacks. Cool. I do want to clean up this area to make it look a little bit prettier, I guess. I could probably chop that off. Ooh, old school Minecraft music. All right, let's go ahead and check it out really quick. So it was 80 and nine. Negative 80, which is forward and nine, which is this way. Oh yeah, I also did want to see a shortcut down, or I should say straight to the portal. So let me go ahead and see. See what coordinates those are. Maybe I could just mine straight forward. Whoa, that was weird. Look like a double jump. Uh, what the heck? Wow, that is super dangerous. Uh, <laughs> let me go ahead and block that off. 
so I don't uh, do anything irresponsible. Oh my gosh. So many gassed holes. There we go. Uh, keep it going, I guess. Ooh, what is this? Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Protect me. Let me see. Dude. Oh, my gosh. He's still chasing me. We're good. I'm wearing... Look, I got shoes, dude. I got butter shoes. If I say anything weird, um, it's probably because I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> uh, so just a heads up. I shouldn't say weird. I sh if I say anything goofy. How about that? That's probably better. Oh, this is a good song. There we go. Okay, that's the last one that I have. Oh look, I could probably go straight there. Oh well. Hold up. Do you think being a YouTube streamer is profitable? I don't know. I think doing full-time takes a lot of risk. I'm still thinking of my future career, so I am kind of curious. What do you think? Goofy Zen. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Quick question. If it's too personal, feel free to not answer. But you again, Carrie, how old are you? The only reason why I'm asking is because most YouTubers, uh, they don't hit straight off uh, when it comes to whether it's streaming or whether it's videos, they don't hit off uh, straight away. So it can take anywhere, if I remember the statistics correctly, it could take anywhere from three months to like two years to start seeing some sort of income. I'm in community college. Okay, cool, perfect. So, okay, so you're above 18 basically, uh, which is basically what I wanted to know. Uh, if you do, in my opinion, if you do want to do YouTube as a career, start it as early as you can. Uh, Although it is never too late, uh, for example, me, I'm 26. Uh, I actually have an old YouTube channel from when I was like 12, but that was when YouTube first started. Low key, I will admit, I do regret not continuing YouTube. Um, I'm not saying my old content was that great, but getting the experience of YouTube underneath my belt at a young age I would have had at least six years before turning 18 uh, to get experience uh, underneath my belt with YouTube and uh, just being exposed that's another thing is you need a lot of exposure if uh, a lot of your stuff is not on multiple platforms it's gonna be harder to for your content to be pushed out uh, there's just a lot of things to consider, but uh, is it profitable? It is in the long run, but short term, it's just not. If you're going to do it as a hobby, it's going to take like twice as long. But if you treat anything as a full time job, you know, cross your fingers, 
you get good um, you get good reception from either your live streams or your videos depending on which route you go but there's so many things to consider when starting YouTube so much research so much you have to find a niche or at least be decent at something um, or just do you know you can do whatever you want and have fun and then you know that's the most beneficial way to do to do YouTube in my opinion is to do something that you enjoy and have fun with even though it might not be a niche or a niche uh, just do it do what you enjoy and you will uh, regardless of the outcome you will enjoy the outcome like for me you know it is what it is uh, you know I'm, I'm not I don't think I'm gonna be exploding anytime soon <laughs> but uh, as long as you're consistent and that goes along with anything in my opinion as long as you're consistent at what you do you will reap the benefits in the long run so that's my uh, two cents I guess <laughs> Uh, if I didn't answer your question, <laughs> let me know, uh, because I do, you know, uh, I do want to help everyone in, uh, anyone that has questions in chat. If you need a, a more specific answer, please let me know. But, uh, if I answered your question, uh, awesome. Let me go ahead and write down these coordinates really quick. But I will say, if you do want to be a streamer or be a, uh, you know, have your own YouTube channel and edit, you will need to invest. You can start off with bare bones, of course. But uh, if you make any money, whether it be from a part-time job or whatever sorts of income that you have, uh, even financial aid, I don't know if you're getting financial aid, I would invest into whatever you need to be successful in YouTube. That way you have a better outcome sooner rather than later. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to buy the best of the best or the most expensive thing to start off. You could start off with, like me, I started off with a office computer, no GPU, fourth gen Intel with a hard, hard disk drive and now you know with some money that i saved up i saved up to get an intel 12th gen i upgraded from a fourth to 12th gen upgraded my hard drive to an nvme uh, that way the read and write speed is a lot faster that way i can have a better stream like for example really quick um my stream before was 720p. Now I'm streaming at 1080p. 1080p. So basically, H, full HD, and I have a higher, uh, a lower latency. So I have a, I have better communication, more uh, quicker response instead of having a delay. Um, yeah, honestly, I could talk about it all day, but, but it's something, it's something that I'm passionate about. So it's something that I could talk about all day. So feel free if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, let me know. You could DM me in uh, Discord and you know, I could get back to you as soon as I can, you know, however, you know, I'm, I'm here to help you guys out, not just to provide entertainment. So yeah, let me go ahead and write down these coordinates. All I need to do is match the Y level, match the the X, no, not the X, the Z level. The Y and the Z is what I need to worry about, and the X I will mine to. That is a very conserv conservative opinion. Cool that you do help. Thanks, man. No problem. But yeah, you know... To each their own. That's just my experience and my opinion. Um, but, you know, experiences and opinions. Uh, having different experiences uh, can uh, sway your opinion, a.k.a. My, my experience with YouTube. You know, I did. I will say that I did start live streaming last year. The only thing is I wasn't consistent. I did stop after like a month. Um, 
but with uh with my living situ well i shouldn't say living situation but with my whole work situation and everything that's going on right now it just seemed a better like a better opportunity for me to continue it now than earlier and plus back then i was constructive <laughs> english <laughs> no problem dude so, same thing happens to me tongue twister <laughs> They kind of sound the same too. They both start with the same letter. Conservative, constructive. But yeah, I always try to have constructive opinions, a constructive outlook. Um, you know, I always try to stay positive, stay hopeful, no matter how bad the situation is. You know, every situation is just a situation. If you're healthy, if you're, if you're mentally and physically healthy, that's all that matters. Um, you know, you got to be humble. You got to be thankful for the situation that you're in. Yeah, you just. Yeah, you know, I really, you know, even th talking about it, thinking about it right now, I'm really thankful for you guys having an audience. You guys allow me to uh, obviously I don't get any income from this, <laughs> but regardless of the fact of income or no income, I do appreciate you guys uh, being in the stream. You guys motivate me. You know, you guys give me ideas. So yeah, I just want to put that out there. Put some good vibes, good uh, good energy. You know, I am Mr. Zen. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll do some... <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I'm just throwing ideas out there. Maybe I'll do some... Uh, when it's morning time, I will get some sunlight. <laughs> You know, I'm going to be streaming for like seven hours with straight in the dark. But uh, how fun isn't it being 2,500 blocks away from my base and running out of rockets? Holy cow. Portal. No, I was going to say portal might be your best route. Do you, question. Do you know the? Do you know the coordinates of your base? If you do, you could probably translate that into nether coordinates. What is it? Just divide it by eight. One block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So you can just uh, divide it by eight and then probably find your way home. You just need to know the Y axis. Sure, dude, anytime. Let me check out my bamboo. I want to see how that's going. Nice. But yeah, if it's something you're really passionate about doing, uh, I'd say go head on. You know, especially use use the free time. If you're getting paid to go to school with financial aid, I'd say use that free time to do what you really want. You know, I would say start as young as you can to get into something that you're passionate about. That way you could basically probably make some sort of income from it and hopefully crossing your fingers retire early so that's that's something i highly suggest you know i spent i wouldn't say i regret uh what i did after high school because i really do uh enjoy what i did uh although i did take the the tough the tough route after high school I've had so many jobs. It is insane. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, in just, <laughs> I'm just trying to, I don't want to repeat myself. I do, I will admit, I do repeat myself pretty often. Um, but yeah, just do what you love, do what you enjoy, and, uh, it will pay off in the end. In your community college, are you going to school uh, for a certain subject or are you just doing your general ed right now? Out of curiosity. Only if you're comfortable answering.
I'm gonna go ahead and work on the upstairs. Whoa, lag. I have an idea. Let me... Let me see. Just some general subjects, nothing crazy. Cool. Cool. I remember those days. I went to, I actually went to college. Uh, I went to college for two degrees. Uh, I went for automotive technology. So I am a, I'm not, okay. I'm not a certified mechanic because I don't have my ASC cert, uh, certificates or certifications, I should say. So I'm nothing official, but I do have my degree in automotive technology. And after that, uh, I have my associates in that. After that, I did go to school for communication studies. So basically learning verbal and nonverbal cues. Uh, went to, uh, did some public debating. Uh, learned uh, how to read body language. How to read a uh, tone of voice uh, so I do I did go to college for four years unfortunately I didn't get a bachelor's but I do have two associates um, it is what it is I do have my uh, I think it's I think it's called the Igeka yeah it's it's basically like a certificate to transfer I do have that not too sure if it's expired yet but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I guess, uh, I can, uh, somewhat relate. I'm not too sure. Although that, I did graduate in 2021. Which was, oh gosh, almost three years now. And ironically... <laughs> Uh, in my professional world, uh, for my careers, I don't use my degrees. So it is kind of a bummer. I did get paid financial aid, which was awesome. Uh, it did help me out with books and all. Because I'm learning online, so I have more free times. So I recently, recently started learning Python and some game engines on YouTube. So now I'm putting hope on engineering stuff and EMT training also just for fun. Yeah, just, dude, college is a time to have fun regarding education. So I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm the type of person I never really, in high school for, for myself, I never really went to parties, so I was always, you know, I always put my head in the books. I'm always for education, for learning, so I just say use your time wisely, uh, which it seems like you're doing, which is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, if engineering is something you're interested in, I'd say go head on. And if you have any projects, another thing to keep an eye out for is if you want to pursue YouTube and you're doing engineering, you can always think of YouTube as a source of video documentation. Uh, the only difference is it'll be public. Also, I mean, you can make it private, but yeah, you can always uh, use YouTube as a source of like documentation on what you're learning. Uh, you can get some second opinions from e even professionals. Uh, because, you know, professionals do go on YouTube here and there. But, uh, yeah, you know, maybe you could post some videos or do some live streaming on uh, 
you doing some Python code. Just some ideas. Okay, I kind of want to put an attic. That doesn't look too terrible. Oh, look at that. That looks kind of... That looks a little bit out of place, but... Oh, well. Okay. Um... Oh gosh, I would want to do a cobblestone roof, but I'll probably hold off for now. Let me go ahead and go to sleep. I do want to get Zen. I found the cat. Oh, nice. That is awesome. So you got your achievement. What is it? A complete catalog. Oh, I get it now. Cat a log. Wow. Sorry, I'm slow. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and take some more. Uh, let me put my boots on. So, I never finished. So, negative 20 is that way. Oh gosh, it's still going that way. <laughs> okay, so... Oh my gosh, let's see. So there's a portal. The portal is literally right here. Okay. Um, right here? If this doesn't take me any... Oh, no. Hold up. Uh, I do see you responded in chat. Let me go ahead and finish this really quick. Oh no, did I pass it? Mm. I might need to mine diagonal. Let me let me read your comment really quick. I quite regret my life in high school on Taiwan, although I'm a traditional Asian student. The whole point of my life is studying and cram school, but I never really thought about my future. And wasted so much time, which is why... Which is why... A bow? Which is why now? Now I feel kind of crazy and excited to try so many things in the US. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, so you moved to the U.S.? That's pretty cool. Right? Did I understand that correctly? But, uh, yeah, I mean... I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing for you not thinking about your future because, you know... <laughs> because, honestly... I didn't even know what I wanted to be. Oh, look here. Yeah, I I didn't know what I wanted to be. You know, I knew when I was 12, but I was so distracted in the adult life and, uh, you know. 
everything that everyone else wanted for me that uh, I didn't focus on what I really wanted to do. So just focus on what you want to do and what makes you happy and you will uh, get it one of these days. Uh, at least as a, as a job. You can turn a hobby into a job, into income. But, um, yep, you're right. Okay, cool. But yeah, always learn, always learn what you're passionate about, I would say. So just, uh, yeah, just take this, this time that you have this free time now that you have and just oh my gosh there we go and just uh use it to uh your benefit the free time that you have uh let me see But yeah, it's never too late to think about your future. You know, I've, I've met people that were in their 30s and 40s where they changed their career. So it's never too late to think about your future or even change your career. You know, I've changed my career like four or five times. <laughs> even though I'm only 26, I've changed it so many times. Like, okay, I'll, I'll go in and say what my experiences are. So in high school, my school offered a culinary program so uh i took i took up on that uh and i went to school to be a butcher so i was a butcher for a little bit right after high school uh something i was interested in but it's not something i was passionate about if that makes sense I was more passionate about technology and, uh, you know, going green and electronics and video games. Those were more so of the things that I was interested in, but I just did not know how to get started in it. So what I did when the opportunity came up in community college was... Uh, I had a military person uh, come up to me and ask me if I wanted to join the military and I said, uh, sure. So I went to go take the test and they told me what jobs I am, uh, which jobs I can apply for. And electrician basically popped up and I took the offer because that was really the only way I can think of getting my foot in the door to work on electronics and it worked you know um did i did some schooling for about uh like a year and a half so i was away from home for a year and a half did some training uh, i decided to go in the reserves so i can continue my schooling which i don't regret um And yeah, uh, I took that. I took that on. So I ha at that point, I have culinary and working on electronics uh, underneath my belt at the age of 20, 20, 19 and 20. Yeah. And uh, after that, after I came back, uh, continued school, continued working at the same time really had really did not have a lot of free time uh except learning at school so since i didn't have a re since i didn't have a lot of free time i didn't really mind school because i was still learning oh yeah yeah okay so backing up right before i left for the military i bought my first car uh which is a 2001 toyota mr2 and i loved it I still have it to this day, actually. Um, and it's stick shift, which I love stick shift now. 
And yeah, uh, after <laughs> after buying my first car, I l fell in love with working on cars. So I knew that after the military, that I wanted to do, I wanted to go to school for automotive. And I found I ran into one of my one of the teachers from my high school. Found out that he actually teaches at a nearby community college, and. I literally made a promise with, oh, there's a gas over there. I literally made a promise with him saying, once I'm done with my military training, I'm going to reserves to finish my college degree and I will get a degree uh, in automotive technology. And I literally went to school the next semester as I came back because I came back in April of yeah the end of April in 2017 uh, I was able to find a job oh my gosh I was able to find a job I work what the heck don't tell me he's gonna come over here okay this guy's not letting me finish my story <laughs> So I literally found a job uh, in May, which is pretty cool. Connections are very important when finding a job quickly. So I will I will put that out there. <laughs> Connections are very important. Anyways, um, once I got a job in May, uh, I went to school the next semester, which started in August. So I basically worked in the summer uh continued the work continued work uh continued school got my degree in automotive which took about two years um i worked i had an internship which i truly enjoyed but it was not a guaranteed position howdy man been a while hey what is up zen x zen welcome to the chat uh, but yeah, so I had an internship. It wasn't an internship to a guaranteed position, which really was a bummer for me. So I did the internship for, for about a year. I tried working at a dealership, did, did not enjoy it. My experience was not that great. They were very pushy. Um, and you know, when you're working on a vehicle, you don't want to rush it, especially when it's not your own because you're liable for them uh, getting in an accident if it's not done correctly. So personally, I take my time, uh, make sure everything, all the nuts and bolts and everything, make sure everything's put in place correctly, test drive it, and then, you know, and then call it a day. But they were very pushy with that. I did not like that. So I literally quit two months later. <laughs> so after that, uh, try to do some uh, sales work for six months to a year. Found out sales isn't really my thing. <laughs> I'm more of an informative person than trying to convince people to buy a product. So I did that while I was in school. Uh, so I, I've tried sales. So at this point in my life, I tried culinary. I went to school to be an electrician from the military. I got my degree in automotive and I've tried sales. So that is around 2018, I think. So once I got my degree in automotive, uh, I decided to go in, so that automotive degree is considered uh, associates of science so I also decided to get my associates of arts and the art that I chose was communication studies so I, I finished that and uh, jobs what jobs did I get um, I worked to be a tech associate at a office uh, place which is pretty fun uh, they had me do some sales, but uh, again, sales isn't really my thing, even though I did pretty decent at it. 
but uh, after that, uh, I moved out of, uh, of my parents. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't move out of my parents until uh, I was 23, and I'm glad they let me stay. I really appreciate them letting me stay until 23. And keep in mind, okay, I will mention this. I was saving money since I started working at the age of 15. So between the ages of 15 and 23, I was literally saving as much money as I can. Uh, I will say uh, I did... Personally, I never really cared about climbing any kind of financial ladder, lol. I was more geared towards the religious field of priesthood. Yeah, you, nothing wrong with that. You know, I know a lot of people that uh, are into that. No, maybe not personally. I know like a handful of people that are like that personally. But uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. You know, everyone has their own uh, goals and achievements they want to reach uh, to each their own, I guess. Um, but continuing on, between the ages of 15 and 23, I did save money and I was able to buy my first house at the age of 23. And everything that I've purchased for my cars, I do have multiple cars. Uh, most of them I got broken down. <laughs> Uh, since I am a car guy, uh, I did fix them up. Um, still actually in the process of... I'm actually in the process of converting my all my project cars to electric. So stay tuned for that. I might uh, go live for that if you guys are interested in me converting my little sports cars to all electric. Anyways, um, getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah, so everything that I've bought in my life, I've earned. Uh, I didn't have, I'd never asked for money and I never, uh, never was really given money either, <clears throat> which I do appreciate. But yeah, so everything that I've worked for, uh, I really am humble and appreciate uh, everything that I have currently, uh, even though YouTube, you know, going back to the current times even though YouTube isn't really making me income, you know, I'm still doing it because I enjoy it. So all I have to say, <laughs> as I've said for like the third time, I swear, is uh, just do something you enjoy and uh, hope and cross your fingers that it will uh, provide you uh, financial security and uh, some sort of income. Um, although you can't wait and stand around, um, you know, if it's something that you enjoy doing, you are putting effort into it. So you are, uh, you know, you should be able to grow into whatever you're doing. But yeah, that is basically a summary, a very brief summary of... Um, my work life and my resume. What the heck? Why did all these guys turn into zombie piglins? That is not fair. What the heck? Wow, that was really far. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let me go ahead and put all the wood stuff away. Interesting, that's a lot of skills and experience you have. Yeah, honestly, I get that a lot. Um, and I do take it as a compliment. You know, I've, I, I like to, I'd like to believe that I've worked hard to for where I'm at today. You know, physically, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna sound weird, but physically, I feel like I'm like 22. Mentally, I feel like I'm like 40, 50 because of all, of all the things that I've done. Um, but physically, I'm actually 26 and mentally I'm 26. But uh, yeah, just uh, never, my, my motto is never stop learning. Well, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say my motto, but um, that's one thing that um, 
I always consider is never stop learning and always be open-minded and just be kind be kind to others you know you know you, you never know what other people are going through these days so just be kind you know that's the best best thing you can do crazy what is zenderman doing in chat <laughs> welcome to the live stream oh yeah they transferred to zombie in normal world damn they got struck by lightning that's crazy <clears throat> all right let me go mining actually actually I am glad to see all of you guys in chat right now. It is awesome. Oh, wrong one. I'm gonna go ahead and put my boots away. Go in here. Something happened. Uh, let me see. Hey, got a new follow. Appreciate that. Spear in the fine view. I should probably change that uh, gif. <laughs> That's a stock gif. I didn't. I thought I changed it, but I guess not. Okay, continue. Let's continue mining. go this way I do like car reviewing although I don't really know about cars but this year I do get a manual car oh oh nice that's cool I digested a table yum it tasted like beans <laughs> you good Zenderman Taiwan legal age for driving is 18. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, just never stop learning. Uh, I'd encourage. Uh, what the heck? No. And over here in the U.S., the legal driving age is 16. Although I didn't get my driver's license at 16, I did get it as soon as I could at 18. Although I, <laughs> I was driving before. But only practice. Oh, no, 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 no. Went too far. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Nice. Let me leave. Uh, let me have a path right here. Oh no. More copper. Too much copper, I swear. Go ahead and clear this out. Is that water? No, no water. Let's see. Would it take three times to get it? <laughs> it's all good, dude. For me, it took like... Well, for me, it took two tries, but... No, did I? No, I think I got on my first try. But I almost, I almost didn't get it. But yeah. Don't give up. <laughs> that's another, that's another model that I have. This is 
Don't give up. Alright, let me get this lapis. All right, let me go ahead and go back. Let me read chat. Oh, let me read chat. 16 in Canada as well. I was always a crappy driver though. <laughs> I say, okay, gotcha. Since you mentioned eyesight, I'm assuming you wear glasses. I'm not too sure. I know it'll be over here uh, on your driver's license. If you require to wear glasses, it actually says it on your driver's license. After I came here, my cousin borrowed your Honda Accord, I think 2010 or 2005. But you like it a lot, although it's automatic it's, and it's not yours. You remember you kept switching your gears? <laughs> You're too rushed. Yeah, you can't rush uh, gears. But yeah, once you learn how to drive manual, it is very, very fun. That's it. Go. After my third attempt and still failing, I opted for a limited license. Oh, really? I haven't heard of that. That's cool. The only way I could pass, I wear glasses. Yeah, you're, I'm nearsighted so I can read fine print, but not signs coming on the road. Same. I actually wear glasses too. I'm nearsighted. Uh, um, I mean, I can still see like a good distance away, but it does get blurry uh, at a pretty far distance. But yeah, on my license, it does say, I, I think it says I need, uh, they call it corrective lens, corrective lenses, yeah. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm near like right now. I'm not wearing my glasses since uh, I'm, well yeah, since I'm pretty close to the. Oh my gosh, you made me jump. There we go. Oh no. What am I doing down here? Okay, there we go. But yeah, so I can relate. I will say that. 